It is over. It is done. It is finished. The 2023 CrossFit Open is over. And I set a huge goal of improving by 20%. Spoiler alert, I did not get 20% better. Let's dive into that. Let's go. Alright, this is this hate right here. Yeah, I think it's on. Is it on? All right, so first off, let's just recap why my goal was 20%. This is my third year in the Open, and 2021, I don't know if you can see it. First Open, doing CrossFit like two months or less, 49th percentile, pretty good. Uh, you can see I got, I got a little bit better every week. Kind of worked out for me. 2022, the next year, uh, I wanted to get 10% better, and... Uh, I really wasn't putting in the work, wasn't really doing CrossFit, maybe one a week, and wasn't really putting out. So 2022, really bad. Uh, just really, really bad. Uh, the workout I didn't like the most, I did the best on, somehow. So 33%, I wanted to make up for lost time, basically. I knew I didn't really try last year, so I figured if I actually tried, I could hit my goal from last year. So really just wanted to get back to where I was uh, top 50% so even if I just hit 50th percentile I was happy but 53rd 20% uh, above where I did last year was the goal I finished in 102nd thousand 88 882th place and I ended up as a level one so yeah I wanted to get 20% better at the least you know that was my goal I knew it was gonna take some work I had to really dive in uh, and coming into it it was kind of I was kind of confident just because I had prepared but I still wasn't sure because the workouts I mean they still sucked and on the leaderboard of the program I follow I wasn't doing very good uh, there were a couple workouts where I was a little bit better and uh, yeah I mean and really last year I didn't do any CrossFit almost till like the very end of the year I did a marathon prep I did bodybuilding it kind of makes you a little nervous but when the time came i went all in on crossfit like two or three months out prepared this time like probably more than ever you know i didn't really get a full i didn't re never really did the full week of training as prescribed maybe once i did a full week you know life happens you have to leave the gym early that was kind of like ah. overall felt really good especially with the program training think tanks intermediate program I uh, needed to work on the skills, and with being level one the year before, I didn't want to overstep. I wanted, I wanted to make good progress, and I was confident going in, you know, as confident as I could be. I felt like I had prepared. I'd been motivating myself, putting these videos out, holding myself accountable, pushed me, and you know, just putting that goal out there, not quit, pushed me to redo the workouts and just give it my all, and that's what I did. Got to say, I didn't get 20% better, but I am very pleased with where I landed. So here we go. I can't take no loss. I don't need know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't need know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Oh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's.
it's my time, I think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time, I think it's my year. Boom, bada bing, 370 on the squat. Yeah, the depth was like. The angle I'm filming this doesn't give me any justice, but that the depth was a little high. But I'm gonna go with it. All my PRs are like that. But uh, that's the heaviest I've had on my back in probably six months. So it honestly felt a little light, but towards the bottom it gets heavy. What? You know, I've been doing the open, been training for the open. I haven't really been training for strength as much. All my lifts, except squat, are going up. So I'll take it. Solid lift for me. All right, before I tell you where I actually landed, I want to give a huge shout out to Becky and Go Performance for letting me shoot these videos here. Uh, also, just for having an awesome gym. Uh, if you're in the area, Batesville, Mississippi area, join the gym. Uh, shout out to Kane. He's the coach of the class here. He's also one of my gym partners. We used to work out together. We don't get to work out as much now, but uh, one of our, my competitors in the opening, you've seen him in the videos. Uh, shout out Peyton for pushing me as well. He didn't want to do the open, but he did it. And he still beat all of us. I'll get into that in a minute. Shout out to Abby for holding it down while I put in the little extra work and putting these videos out as well because somebody's got to watch some kids and it's kind of hard to edit and have a kid in your lap. Yeah, shout out to Trevor as well for motivating me and uh, you know, just shout out to everybody, man. There's so many people I could thank for helping me in this process and allowing this to happen and pushing me and uh, just making it happen. Really grateful for you all. But yeah, let's get into it. So the results are in. You already know my scores week to week if you watch my videos. So here we go. All right, so I landed solidly in the 70th percentile. So not 20%, but more, way more. And also, if you look, I actually jumped 50,000 spots from last year, 52,000 spots. So I actually like have my placement. I was on 102,000 something place. Now I'm at 50,000. So by far my best open exceeded my goal by 17% and uh, made a 37% made a jump, which is crazy. Really blew my expectations out of the water. Uh, really excited for training for the next year. Got a lot, of, got a lot in store, got a lot of running, a lot, a lot of everything. So and the crazy thing about it, everybody, Peyton and Kane, pretty sure they had their best open yet and I was right there neck and neck with them week to week. So that really pumped me up. With both of them feeling like they weren't in peak CrossFit shape and then coming in is still hanging in there with me who peak CrossFit shape and then having their best open yet kind of reaffirms that, man, I'm in shape, I'm fit. And uh, they are too, even with where they thought they would be and they ended up still finishing better than ever with suboptimal training. So next year, I just wanna, it's coming and we're gonna push. But in the gym, let's go over our gym leaderboard. So Peyton still won, came in first, first, third, and second. Somehow, him being the strongest out of those three, he got last in the strength workout, which is crazy. Kane got third, third, kinda had a, a slow start. And then first and first. Now keep in mind, these guys didn't redo any workouts. And then I was pretty consistent. Second, 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 third. And I redid all my workouts with drastic improvements on all of them. So yeah, really proud of my effort. Really proud of where I ended up. 37% jump, man. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground, then I go off. Yeah, hit the ground, then I go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. Bro, I don't know what it is, but it's feeling really good today. Didn't PR my first two lifts, but hit good, decent numbers that I haven't hit in a while. And then I was like, I'm gonna go for overhead squat. PR'd it by 35 pounds and had more in the tank. What the mess? 
Bro, look who just now showed up. You gonna sit on my phone, bro? Yeah, I was gonna warm it up for you. What you gonna do today? Lift? Uh, bench. I think he's lying. Got done with overhead squat and decided to power snatch. PR'd already, hit 185. That's, I've never even snatched that, so. Barely missed 195, gonna try for that again. Hey bro, hype me up real quick, hype me up. No hype. Bro, what are you doing over there? We're gonna like lift or what? Oh, look at my feet. Where the clips at? So high over the sky, bro. Are you gonna lift it? I'm gonna keep trying this until I get tired of trying this. Alright, I guess I'll try one more time. I don't know why. Bro, it's like right there. I just gotta get it there. And hold it. This is a personal question. Our hotel looking lit. That didn't sound like a question. It was me questioning your hotel skills. Yeah. Did I answer? All right, this is this is how you do it, right? Here. Yeah, I think it's on. Is it on? Yeah, here it is. What in the world? What are you doing on the ground, bro? Is it recording? Just, just pouring it. Yeah, it's recording, dude. It's Hit recording. <laughs> hey, here we go again. Like I didn't get this. Uh, Throw it in the air, catch it. Okay, this is open 23.4. Oh. You Max. grab this barbell Max snatch. and you pick it up. Anyway, uh, I can clean and jerk this. So I recommend starting in a clean position and then switch the snatch when it gets over your head. I was just staring at the barbell yeah, that like, whole time. <laughs> Go. I'm disappointed. Why you do that? It didn't go in the right spot. It's supposed to stay there. I hit it, baby. I miss. All right, I got. I'd, I'd go for more, but I've been here for like six hours, so. What are you doing, bro. All right, two more fouls. Let's go. Bro, you think I should try that? Just once. Hey, we'll do two more fouls. I'm so in trouble, bro. <laughs> Sorry, Abby. <laughs> I've been here for almost three hours. Load it up and I'll do it. Load it up and I'll do it. Do 205, bro. How bad do you want it? I don't know yet. Come on. How bad do you want it? Let's go. I don't know. Pick it up. Pick it up. Go. Come on. Come on. Hey, let's go.
Okay, you, you should have recovered. Forget it. I'm done. I'm done. All right, bro. We did it. We had we we killed it, bro. I PR'd a lot, and we're going. That's crazy. PR to open. PR to lift. Let's get it. All right, guys. Y'all know what to do. Go go hit the podcast up. Put work in every Monday. Y'all get after it. Put the work in. I've been doing it, and I'm proof it works. So y'all put the work in, get the results, and uh, stay consistent. Do the little things, and uh, it'll pay off. So it'll pay off so good. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I can't take no loss.